Welcome to this week's Wise Word. We are here with Mrs. Washira, who is the director of the ROES and the ROES program as well. And Karibu to our, this week's Wise Word. We want to ask her one question that we are wondering about, that when we go for our holidays, we are about to go for a very long holiday, uh, how do we keep the fire of faith burning? Because most of us, when we're in school, we have CU and we have things like that. But when we go home, some of us don't even go to church in the first place. So how do we keep the fire burning when we go back home? Mm, okay, that's a good question because we find most students when they're in school, they're on fire for God. And when they go home, uh, they, they get into issues until that fire uh, goes down. By the time they are opening school again, they are wondering, am I saved or am I not? But if I can remember when ourselves we were in school, I gave my life to Christ when I was in Form 1. And I remember when we closed the school and we were going for the holidays, we really did not know how to also to deal with it. Because uh, those days where I came from, the, the, settle, the people had not settled so much and those churches were very far away. And at times we felt we did not want to go to the mainstream churches where our, our parents were going because we were on fire for God. And uh, I think that was one, one, one mistake we did. We could stay at home uh, and maybe just play, be, uh, pray behind, the, behind the, the house there. But one thing I would uh, advise, those are mistakes that we did. But if I were a student today, and what I would advise the students today, when you go home for holiday, it's very good. Make sure that you go to church, especially where your parents go. As long as at church, the word of God is being spoken and there is prayer, it will fuel your faith. Mm -hmm. It may not agree with what you believe, you know, the way what you actually do in school, but be in that environment. Mm -hmm. Number two, attend youth camps. Most churches today, they organize for youth camps during the holidays. Yes. And then you find most students, they don't want to go. Mm. For whatever they reason. Want to stay home and watch TV. And watch TV <laughs> and uh, maybe just be there. Mm -hmm. But one thing to make sure that your, you don't, your fire does not, does not go for, off, attend those youth camps. Mm -hmm. That's why you are advised. You pray together. There are people who are speaking to you. By and by, you find that you continue to fuel your, your faith. Number three, Keep off wrong company. Yes. When you go back home, you find maybe there are those students you were with in primary school. They never went to. to they were. They never continued. Mm -hmm. Others they just went maybe to a day school and maybe they have engaged themselves with issues that are not really very good. So first of all, find out. So and so, is it a good company? Mm -hmm. Is the person good company to me? Mm -hmm. Keep them off okay. and keep yourself busy at home. Yes. Mm. So those are very, very solid and important points. The first one is go to the church that you have at home as long as it's a Bible-believing church. Yes. Just go to there because the Word of God says that the Word of God is alive and active. Mm. Wherever it is, it, there are rivers of living water, so you will always be transformed. Secondly, go to youth camps. Every church has at least one activity for the teenagers and the youth. Make sure you are in those activities. Yes. And the third one, it may not even be for your church only. You can try and find out what other churches around are doing yes. as long as they are Bible-believing churches. Mm -hmm. And the third thing is keep yourself busy and avoid wrong company. Yes. Thank you very much. Those are good points. I second the points. And by the word of two witnesses, a matter is established. Yes. God bless you. We'll see you next week for next week's Wise Word.